so welcome back to Linda's Pantry and another What You Think Wednesday. I'm super excited to bring you along for this because this is a review on our Camp Chef stove. And we ended up getting this in the middle of our camping trip when we went on our deer hunt last fall. Uh, we had a whole kitchen set up and if you saw that video, uh, we had a, a, a little Camp Chef kind of kitchen area without a Camp Chef. We had a, I believe it was a Coleman multi-fuel stove. You could actually burn regular gasoline. You pumped it up. Well, it caught on fire and it was probably 22 years old, but it caught on fire and thankfully my husband was out there and um, was able to put it out, but neither one of us felt comfortable with using that again, so we went to town and we bought ourselves a camp chef. We've got the two burner model, and so I really want to show you what I've done to accessorize it and let you know my honest opinion. So let's go outside and I'll show you my camp chef. I've got it all set up on the patio and um, I, I, I'll save the surprise. <laughs> Don't forget, check all the links that I've left for you. Give me a thumbs up and share this on your Facebook page. And I'll leave a link to the Camp Chef. So if you're interested, there's some really good deals online for um, way less than what we paid for ours, uh, but we were kind of in a pickle, so we had to pay the price. And then the accessory packages too are wonderful. I'll show you a couple things. So right. here we are in front of the Camp Chef, and we bought when we were camping we bought the basic two burner stove and then we've since accessorized which is really important to me <laughs> um we've got this was like a utensil pack and it came with the paper towel holder that just clips right on you know um it's okay if the wind blows you're kind of in trouble because it'll unravel uh, unless you have some way of clamping your paper towels and that's what i do in camp i clamp them to the center so they stay rolled up. And then you've got a utensil rack, which is really nice. Um, and while it's out here, I have, you know, things that I use for the green egg and uh, scraper for the grill top. We also bought these, um, and these are handy to have. These fold up right over the top of the stove when you've taken the windshield off. These fold up and it stores in the storage bag. And I did buy the storage bag for this. I feel like it's important to have nice carrying bags to keep your stuff nice. And then um, my husband got this for me, which I love. And this is a grill and it goes right over the top of your stove. So it eliminates us bringing um, the little barbecue and briquettes and lighter fluid or paper or whatever we're gonna do. The starter, I mean, it, it eliminates a lot of excess baggage, if you will. And this locks shut, so it's really nice. And then I've got tables over there, and if you want to fold these up and over, you're totally fine to do that and have a nice work surface or to keep your burners from getting dirty and dusty and all that. And then before we go home, I always clean it. So super easy to light. You're just going to get your... And we're lit. And I mean, it gets hot. I can can out on this. I can grill with the grill top. And it, it gets really nice. And that grill top, I'll bring you in for a close-up so you can kind of see and I'll light that and show you how hot it really so gets. So I've lined underneath the cast iron grill grate, I've lined some foil, but I also vented the holes. Um, I just any oil or any fat, I want it to be able to drip down underneath that, if that makes sense. There's no vent holes in the very center, and so it makes for easy cleanup. I don't want this to become a big disaster. So that being said, before I start, I'm gonna spray this. And this just helps reseason your grill great every time. I'm gonna hit this on, get our lighter in there. And start her up. Done. So it's running at 500 degrees, which is great for searing a steak. And then, ooh, look at little wood fire smoke. This little piece is probably done. I'm just gonna set that on top. That's another way you can, you know, kind of, uh, maybe I'll just take it off altogether. But it gets nice grill marks. And I just check by this. 
If you guys would like some, like a camping tip uh, series, let me know in the about section below. But for a propane grill and stovetop, this has got a thumbs up and a great, great review. I love this thing. It's like my favorite. Okay, so to cure my paper towel unraveling, uh, my tip for you is to get a clothespin, and even if your paper towel is, I've kind of pinched it halfway, it'll just keep it from unraveling. If you think it's going to rain, cover it up. And then you got your utensil, utensil rack, and here we are. And check that out. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's hot. It's 475, almost 500. It's very hot. And our steaks are almost done. Got our propane tank down there. Now, I did get a barbecue mat to put under this just because you don't want grease coming through or food and getting all over your patio. It will stain your patio. So, I hope this inspires you to check these out. I'm going to leave you a link below on where you can get your very own Camp Chef stove and accessorize. There's still one more accessory I think I need. So, it's on my wish list, guys. <laughs> Can't wait to see you next time. Subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you next Wednesday.